All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. Today we're going to take a little look at the difference between a three-high defense and a three-safety defense. I think sometimes people get the two confused, so I'm just going to take you through the easiest way to figure out what the difference is between a three-high defense and a three-safety defense. Make sure you check out some of our partners, GameStrat, sideline replay system we use at Bishop Kenny High School. Used it at the last school I was at. Highly reliable, highly affordable. People all over the country are making the switch. Make sure you check out GameStrat. Dome hats, all right, if you like custom headwear that you can make your own hat, design your own hat, build your own hat, you can generate it online. They're online hat builder. They have several different styles, different enclosures, snapback, Velcro, fitted, all right, you can put embroidery on it. You can do whatever you want. They've got some really cool hats on their site. Go to their website, check it out, all right, dome hats, custom headwear, best in the business. Baker Sporting Goods Company we use for, they distribute our uniforms, our sideline gear, all right, uh, it's team stores, team stores for fans. Uh, teachers, stores that we have for teachers to build our Bishop Kenny gear. You can get everything in one convenient location. All right. They also are now just brought out pro, just bought out Pro Gear, develop and selling shoulder pads. So really out there in the world right now in the business world. So locally here in Jacksonville we use them, but they're starting to do things all over the country now. So make sure you check out Baker Sports. Just Play, all right, a unique teaching tool that we use. All right, it's a more powerful way to present your material to your players. They have really unique and interesting quiz features. Make it really easy. You can use film, you can use images. Kids click uh, on the quiz features, take the quiz, you figure out what they know, what they don't know. It's a really, really powerful tool to teach with. I use it on Patreon. It's the best play drawing, pay, excuse me, play drawing tool on the market. Make sure you check them out. Difference USA, ultimate striking machine. Thousands of reps, don't need a partner. Elbows in, thumbs up, work on the skill of striking. Coils change, so as the kids get stronger, it makes it hard to lev the pad and set them up in your weight room. You can set them up on the field. Really easy, really convenient, don't need a partner. Check them out, Difference USA. Okay, so when we talk three high versus three safety defense, we're talking about the same personnel, but we're usually talking about different structures, okay? So in the three high safety world, all right, you're talking about the Iowa State's originally, and now obviously TCU played it, and everybody's going to laugh at it now because of the national championship game. Doesn't make a difference to me. They got there, they put their program on a national stage, still a good structure of defense. Kansas State played it. All right, uh, Delaware plays it at the 1AA level. A lot of teams play it now. A lot of teams use it as a package, okay? But the three safety defense, think about your nickel packages. Think more about Gary Patterson, 425. The three safety defense within similar personnel groups is a different defense than the three high safety defense, okay? They're both 425 or 335. They're both five secondary deals, okay, or three safety deals, two corners. It could be more in a dime package, but they're both usually in general three safety defenses, all right? So first drawing I have up there, look, look just very simple, look at a pro set, okay? I happen to have a 3-3 three, three stack defense up there, and I'll draw a 4-2-5 or, or uh, something different to make it more relevant so you can see that it's not just one, one style of play, all right? But in a 3-3 three, three stack defense or a 3-3-5 three, three, defense, that was just a three safety defense, all right? Versus a pro set, you would be more six in the box, three, three stack. Nickel or one, one of your safeties would be probably your, if you're a split field quarters coverage team like we are, probably be your D-gap flat force player, all right? First to the flat. Free safety would probably be your quarters player on the tight end. Weak safety is gonna be the guy on the backside that's giving you all your two for one or three for two deals on the backside to where you can play Sky, Cloud, Cone, Hawk, or all the vision, you know, uh, all the different theories that you can play on the backside, right? So 3-3 three, three structure, usually two high safety world, right? Two high safety worlds. So we're talking about three safety defense, not three high. When we were a 4-2-5 team, all right, it was three tech, two high, or however you play it, seven tech, all right, five tech on the backside, still the nickel, third safety. Mike and Will in the box, free safety here, weak safety on this side with the corner over there. So when we were a 4-2-5 team, that was a three safety defense, every down three safety defense. Not a nickel defense, not a passing structure. Every down nickel defense, three safeties on the field. If we were 4-2-5, this is how we would line up. All right, and this is how we would play our three safety structure. And it would be similar. We'd be quarters to the pro side, all right, and we would be whatever we wanted to the single side to get two for one, three for two on the back side. Okay, if I draw, if 
I drew up like the two by two world. Sorry, switching colors on it. I drew up the two by two world in a three safety defense. All right, so if this is the two by two world, three safety defense, if we were a stack team and we were here and maybe on this side because we're going to walk out a little bit, or I'll even leave it as, we can leave it as stack, but all right, you would have at, on one side or the other, if you were a stack team, you would probably bump out a little bit because of two by two. So maybe to this side, all right, let's say we'll leave the five to this side here. All right, and there's our nickel there. Okay, and there's our Sam, Mike, and then on this side, because of two removed, we might have to bump the wheel and play a four eye over here with a corner. Now we're going to have a free safety to the passing strength, corner there, all right, weak safety away. We're going to play two read to both sides from the three three stack. We're going to get slightly out of the stack to two by two, all right, and we're going to take, we can either gap, we can either two gap on the back side. Because of the open B-gap war, we can make this a 4-I with the will walked out. But the bottom line is one of the safeties is down and we're playing a two-high structure. If we were a 4-2-5 team, all right, if we were a 4-2-5 team and we wanted to set, let's say we set the 3 away from the back and we put the 3 over here and we had the 2-I to the back, all right, we'd have our mic in the box, our nickel to the side of the back, usually the will walked out, corner, weak side safety there, free safety traveling with the nickel. Now if we were a 4-2-5 team, Three safety defense, that is how we would line up. Okay, so in the three high, in the three safety structure, excuse me, three safety structure, the nickel replaces the Sam. You're playing nickel, star, whatever you want to call them. You're playing three safety defense. We played it as a base. A lot of people play it now as a base. High school, I don't have a ton of personnel packages. I don't get a chance to match personnel sets as much as most people would. All right, in the college game or the NFL game, that's not the world we live in. Our best 11 are usually our best 11. If we have to match personnel, I usually have to use O linemen or bigger bodies. We don't have all right, a ton of D linemen, that's why we're in odd school. Okay, so um, 4 2 5 world, three safety defense would look like this. Now, the difference is, and I'll go back to the pro set first, the difference for us when in a three safety world, all right. Excuse me, the difference from the three safety world. Now we're going to get into the three high world. All right, the three high is the structure. The three high, it's the same personnel group, but it's the structure that we're playing. So now in the three high world, the way we do it, we're going to play tight front. And yes, we're going to play tight front to 21 personnel. Yes, we do. Okay. We'll push or we'll boss our linebackers a little bit. We're still going to have, for us, okay, now part of the 3-3 three, three deal. Now our Sam would be the guy that's there. Okay, and now for us, our left safety is a quarters player. Our middle safety is involved in the run fit, running the alley off of where three is, and he has three vertical. Our right safety is on the backside, playing all of our two for one, three for two deals on the backside. Okay, coverage structures did not change. We play the same split field coverages we've always played. I can't reiterate that to people enough. The way we play three high. It is the same split field coverages I've been talking about on these videos for 10 years. We are a quarters toolbox team. We are a palms two read team. We play the same three by one adjustments. All right. The difference now is from the three high structure, our middle safety is going to be a hybrid linebacker. He replaces the mic and coverages, and he's a heavy part of the run fits, usually running inside out in the alleys. All right. Sam is now the D-gap force player as opposed to the nickel safety being the D-gap force player. We're still going to play quarters to the front side. Yes, we do from three high versus 21 personnel. We still play quarters. We still play the middle safety off of the intentions of the number three. The middle safety still has the number three vertical. In our three safety deal, the Mike is the vertical player of three. The Mike is the guy that's got to take all right three down the field. If we were playing quarters on one side, the Mike has three vertical. Well, in this world, we eliminate that. We only rush three. The mic is a spy add-on extra. The middle safety takes the mic's role in coverage. So even though we're still 3-3-5, three, three, all right, or even though we are a five-spoke secondary nickel defense, however you want to look at it, three high is a different structure than traditional three safety. Okay? If we were, and we did play some four-down stuff, all right, there are I won't get into, in, into it in this video, but there are some movements you may have to make to take away some gaps because it's meant to be a light box theory. 
All right, but if we were in the three high world, and we played even front stuff, this is the way we would look. And we will do it from occasion. We will play four down from our three high looks. Okay? A lot of times, again, I will have some movements and some stunts. So a lot of times if it's 21 or heavier personnel, if I chose to play this, I may have some games on to eliminate front side A and B gaps to get the ball to go wider where I want it because I am now missing a linebacker in here. Even though my middle safety is tied to the run fits, he's doing it from eight yards deep. I don't have the mic. I only have the will. I may not want two open gaps in there if I'm playing even front stuff. Uh, okay, so we, we can play three high from four down. We just have to stunt, do some different things, all right? We've done a bunch of different things. We've even taken it to where we can push the will over the center and on the backside play a two and a four. All right, and then if we got past the four, we'd have to work his way outside to contain. But we've done that to take away interior gaps, all right, and let the will in the middle safety run to play the alleys. We still have a fourth player to the weak side, okay? A couple different things we've done. We've done it different ways. We've done it different ways, but three high and three safety is two different structures. If we got back to that two by two world, so if we got back into that two by two world, if we were three high, you're going to see a different picture. So, if we're three high in this world, sorry, that's my end, nose, anchor, tight front, Mike in the box by himself, solo, 3-1 box, we make a solo call, there's my Sam, there's my Will, corner in my left safety plate two read, corner in my right safety plate two read, middle safety lines up off the back who happens to be the number three receiver. So now in the three high world versus two by two, that's what we look like. So three high and three safety are two completely different structures. Same personnel group. All right, so for us, the three, three stack with split field coverage and our tight front three high is the same personnel group. They're both three, three, five personnel groups. Different structures, all right? Different structures of fitting things, different structures of how we're playing, all right, route distribution. <laughs> and the easiest way to look at it, when I try to explain it to everybody, the middle safety becomes the mic in coverage. And in a lot of our fits, the middle safety is acting like the mic linebacker in coverage and another linebacker in the run fit is really what we're doing. So when I went from 3-3 three, three, split field coverage, 4-2-5 before that. So when I went from 4-2-5 to 3-3, three, three, I never changed the back end. We played the same split field coverage, six-man box. When I went from 3-3 three, three stack to tight front, three high, we played the same coverages on the back end. Our run fits changed a little bit. We had lighter boxes, all right? We had four and five man boxes instead of five and six man boxes, but we were still getting the same numbers involved in the run game because the middle safety was doing it from a little bit deeper, okay? So my coverages back here have not changed one bit from my three safety world to my three high safety world. Okay, so there's a three safety deal, and then there's a three high safety deal. All right, now a lot of people, even in the three safety world, a lot of people will try and disguise their stems and their rolls and their spins. The three high world is more of the three guys on the roof, all at the same level, trying to spin late or playing some downs with all three of them at the same level. Okay, but the difference is the personnel grouping is the same, the structure is different. The box pictures will look completely different. Now for us, the coverages are the exact same. I would play two by two base in three high the same way I play it in four two five or three three stack. The only minor change nuance is the mic is not part of my coverage anymore. The mic is not part of the coverage. I still have seven guys on the back end. I don't count the mic. I add the mic, the mic spies, the mic can be a low hole cut player. All right, whatever you want to do in your game plan, that's where you use the mic. But the mic is not part of the coverages because the middle safety takes his role in the coverage. So that's the, that's the slight nuance or change difference between split field three safety, split field three high. Okay, so when you're thinking about three safety defense, there's a lot of different ways to play three safety defense. It originally started off as a nickel package. 
you brought that 50 B in. Now, maybe it's not a safety in the NFL world. It's usually a corner in the slot, another great cover guy, right? But it was a 5 DB look. Well, now it's become a 5 DB look with three safeties. Then you add in the revolution or evolution, however you want to look at it. It changed the game, but it also helped the game evolve in the right way of three high. Three high structures are different than three safety defenses. Two teams can play each other. They're both three safety defense. One's three high, one's normal split field or traditional nickel. Those are two different structures. All right, so just wanted to do that video to get it out there. I think a lot of people get confused sometimes when you talk about personnel as opposed to structure. I've mentioned on several of my videos before, different personnel groups can play the same, same fronts. Different personnel groups can play the same coverages. The personnel, all right, when you get labeled 3-3-5, 4-2-5, 4-3, 3-4, the personnel is the guys on the field. Three down linemen, three linebackers, five secondary players. That's the personnel. <coughs> Excuse me. We are not a 3-3 stack team anymore. Do we at times present a 3-3 stack look? Yes, at times we might. Is our base defense 3-3 stack? No, it is not. Our base defense is broken stack. Looks more like Oki 3-4 defense. If you watched us play in the box, you would think we were a 3-4 team every day of the week. Our boxes are 3-2 90% of the time, other than 2-by-2, two two, all right? 2-by-1, two 3-by-1, one, one, we have 3-2 boxes. We look more like an odd front 3-4 team than we ever look like a stack team, all right? And that's the biggest difference. Same personnel, structure. Three high structure is different, all right, from the stack structure. And to take it a step further, it's really impossible to play three high from the stack structure, all right? Because the three high is meant to be a light box world. Once you put three bodies somewhere in the vicinity to, to play the box and you play a six-man box, all right, in order, in order for us to play three high from this look, okay, which we could, we'd have to bump the wheel, bump the Sam, do something different with the gaps up front, and we would no longer look three, three stacks. Okay, it would be very difficult for us to look like a 3-3 stack team. If it was like the pro set I drew before, and this might be an easier way for you to look at it. If it's the pro set and we want to be a stack box, in order for me to provide the picture of the stack box, and play three high, Who's going to be the overhang to that side? Who's the D-gap force player? If, all right, that safety is playing high. If I'm playing the middle safety off of the number three receiver. So if I'm playing the middle safety high off of that, who's D-gap flat force over here? Okay, so in this world, the true 3-3 stack is very hard to get to three high philosophies or structures. It's tough to do because to play quarters, I need a D-gap force player. You're normally not going to play D-gap force from inside the tackle box. So from a 3-3 stack look, 3-high is not the structure to get to. It's going to be very difficult to get to. In order to get to it, you break the stack. Or you bump your backers, however you want to look at it. Now you're no longer 3-3 stack, but now you can be 3-high because you can play quarters with the middle safety acting as the mic off three, and you can play all your three for two, two for one deals. You lose the stack look. So the true stack look to most personnel groupings is very hard to play in the three high world. Now, most of your true stack teams would break the stack at times. So it's been done before. It's not like the broken stack three high, the Iowa State of five, six years ago when they started it in 17 or whatever it was, even though people probably were playing a version of this before that, it just didn't catch on and get a name. But the three high safety world is a broken stack. Stack teams have broken the stack for years upon years. They just never did it from a three high structure. It was always the same split field principles. All right? Or a lot of stack teams, when they're one high, that's when they usually almost never break the look of the stack. And that's why they play a bunch of one high, cover three or one free or whatever it may be, because you could always keep the six-man box, the integrity of the stack. As soon as you start to get two by two, three by one, it's hard to keep the integrity of the stack and play some different coverages because of where the grass and the angles and the numbers are to get bodies 
apexed, overhangs, whatever you want to look, however you want to look at it, where they need to be. So 3-3-5 three, three, personnel group. It could be three safety nickel defense. We played it for years. It could be three high. We're playing it right now. Different philosophy, different structure. Same coverages on the back end, just a different way of approaching your boxes and some of your run fits and then your coverage distribution. So when all those terms get thrown around, I think sometimes people get a little bit misled on what three high is, three safety nickel defense. So I just thought I'd do this video so that if there's anybody out there that is a little bit confused, hopefully this helps you out. If you already knew this information, it doesn't hurt you watching the video. If you disagree with the information, you can put thumbs down, whatever you want. All right, if you are not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, make sure you turn those notifications on, ring that bell. Every time I do a video, every time I go on YouTube Live, you get the notification. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like it or don't like it. I had somebody comment the other day about I rub my hands constantly or I do something else. Yes, I do. I'm not going to get mad at those comments. You watched the video. You took the time to leave a comment. We can agree to disagree or we can agree to laugh at you know, whatever one of my on-camera idiosyncrasies might be. I always try to comment back with some people that comment with me. It's your interaction that makes the channel. Thumbs down if you don't like it. That's your opinion. Okay, I can't stop you from not liking the video. There should be some people out there that don't like the video. What I do, how I do it, isn't for everybody. So those things aren't going to stop me from doing videos and they're not going to stop me from allowing people to comment. I don't block people or get involved in a shouting match in the comments section. That is your opinion. All right, so subscribe, notifications on, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment. I try and interact every chance I get. Thank you for everything you do for PlayFest Football. 10-year anniversary, 10 years this January. January 25th is the actual birth date. The actual anniversary day, 10 years running strong. Everybody I saw at the AFCA convention, it was awesome. Met a lot of people there. Saw a lot of PlayFest followers, subscribers there. Interacted with them, so it was awesome. Met a lot of new vendors and the people that we partner with, promote, advertise for right now. So that was awesome. So Charlotte is a great city, great scene. Had a great time there. But now it's back to work, back to business. Thank you for everything you do. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast. I will see you next time.